Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. This is a weird angle. I had to put, I had to put you above me looking down because this hole is what we're going to be focusing on. And I wanted to be able to talk to you. So this is the best we could do, guys. And I'm looking right into the sun. <laughs> but I'm glad that you're here with me because I want to share with you a really popular way for planting uh, trees and shrubs, bushes, things like that. And it's the method that I use. And the way you do it is when you bring your plant home from the nursery, it's going to be in a pot or wrapped in burlap or what have you. Leave it in there till you're done digging your hole. Now I've dug it and I've partially filled it already. Uh, this isn't our first take of this. Um, <laughs> because of things beyond my control. So, <laughs> what you want to do first is you want to dig a hole that's twice the diameter as the pot your plants in or the burlap sack. So twice the diameter. And I like to also dig it about one and a half times as deep as the pot, especially in cases like mine where I have that thick clay soil. And the reason that I do that is because the reason we do that, because I mean, it's like I said, it's a pretty common method. The reason you do that is because you want to give enough room around the pot for those little roots to grow out without really hitting anything too hard and establish themselves, okay? So you dig the hole like one and a half times as deep as the pot. I would leave the plant in while you're digging the hole just so that it's easy to pull it in and take it out until you get that hole the size you want. About twice the diameter of the pot and when you put the pot in that hole, it's going to be the hole's going to be deeper than the pot is. It's going to be, the, the top of the hole's going to be higher than the top of the pot. But you're not going to leave it that way. You're going to fill it with your nice dirt that's nice and loose and full of all the nutrients that you need to the point where when you put that pot in, it looks like the top of the soil from it is going to be even with the top of the soil in your hole. And I've already done that. So then you can take your plant out of the pot or the burlap and what you want to do this is a nice little peach tree by the way Hello. <laughs> is you want to just kind of go through and see if you can loosen those roots up a little bit just kind of gently tease them out and then you put your plant into the hole and I have a second peach tree there. Okay, so as you can see, the top, kind of see right in there, the, the dirt is even with the top of the hole, and then you're going to fill in around your tree. Before you do that though, spin your tree around. I've already done that, so I know which way I want it to face, but spin your tree around. <laughs> I just feel so funny looking straight up into the sky at you. But um, spin it around a little bit and see exactly how you want it to be, the position you want it to be in, okay? So that you know that it's facing the direction you want it to face and things like that because it's going to look different from each angle. So, you know, make sure you've got it uh, the way you want it and make sure that it's going to get the amount of sunlight it needs the, and the, the soil you've made up for it is right now. This is a little peach tree that is a variety that's hardy clear up here in zone 5, which is wonderful. And I've mixed up some soil with uh, some added quar in it to make it a little looser. But peach trees like nice rich soil that's slightly acidic. And this is, this is, the quar doesn't add acidity, but the mixture I have is slightly acidic. And so then you're going to fill in the hole around your tree, like so. And... You know, you don't have to be super, super gentle. I mean, this is a tree. And so I'm just gonna, well, I don't wanna make him pass out. There. And you can hold that tree up in order to get dirt underneath it if it's not at the angle you want. Uh-oh. I'm trying not to knock all the leaves off of it, poor little thing. Okay. 
Now remember what we said, you want it to be even with the top. You don't want to go and put a whole bunch on top of the dirt here. You want to leave the top of that where it was and you want to come up to meet it, okay? So then you've got this nice loose soil. Those little baby roots will be able to get through there without fighting a whole lot and get what they need. And then you're just going to pat the soil down. I know I'm kind of blocking your view a little bit, but there. Then you pat the soil down. You don't want to jam it in because then you're undoing what you've just done. You know, you don't want to compact it, but just tap it nice and light. And then get a watering can or a hose or what have you. And you want to give this thing when you first plant it a super, super good watering. And good time. <laughs> just got dirt in my eye. And good times of day to plant are um, in the evening and first thing in the morning when the sun's not at its most intense. And in fact, you might even think that, you might even consider if you can, planting it just before sundown because then it'll have the cool of the evening to not have to struggle because when you transplant things, they go through a bit of shock and that'll kind of give it a little break before it has to fight the heat of the sun. So, but you wanna really soak it well. So I'm going to pour this entire pitcher of water. You don't just want to go right in the middle like this. You want to go out around the out around the edges because you want to encourage those little roots to start reaching out, okay? And this is going to take you a few minutes. Now, hopefully before you've planted it, you've checked everything out to make sure that um your soil conditions are correct for it and things like that, like I said. And you also want to make sure, and this is important, you want to make sure that you're giving it enough room to grow. Because what a lot of people do, and it's really, I'm filthy, ignore the filth. I'm having a ball. <laughs> but what a lot of people do is they look at the tree in their yard as it is now, and they say, oh, this is perfect. Well, meanwhile, it has another tree really close to it and things like that. And that's not good. And that's not good. What you want to do is you want to take into consideration how big this tree is going to be when it's full grown. And you want to make sure it has enough room to do that growing in the spot you give it, okay? That's really, really instrumental. Otherwise, you're going to end up having to cut something down or something's going to kill something else. Or they're going to kill each other because they're going to strangle each other and fight for nutrients and sunlight and things like that and airflow. So make sure that the size that your tree is going to be is the amount of space that you give it, okay? Super duper important. Okay, so now you have watered this thing to death and <laughs> that's what you want to do so that it can get a really, really good soaking that first time as it's on its way out because it's, it's just really important. It's, it makes it easier for it. And odds are those little roots in there are kind of dried out as well. So give it a good soaking. And then if the soil around it compacts, because that can happen when you give it a good watering, you can have more soil at this point so that when you're done, it's even with the top of the soil. And that's it. That's all you have to do. But I want to and list you guys as help with something if that's okay. And what it is, is you're gonna think I'm silly. I have never before named, I don't name my plants generally, give them a name name. But this little peach tree, it deserves a name. It really does, and I'll tell you why. I went to get it at the store and it had apparently been moved from its proper location and it was with a bunch of plants, there was a sign with a price, I had that amount of money, and I took the little tag off the tree and I went to pay for it, and it rang up a little bit more expensive, not much more, but I didn't have that. I didn't have that amount on me. And it turns out that what had happened is it wasn't in its regular spot where it should have been, and, and it was this exact tree too. And um, 
<laughs> it wasn't where it should have been. It was with some plants that were cheaper. And so, you know, I apologized for the inconvenience to the cashier, and took the tag back out. I said, I'll put it back on the tree and took it back out and left the tree there. Well, I thought about that tree until uh, the next time I got paid and it was only a few days later and I only needed a few dollars, you know, so when I got paid, I had that extra few dollars and I immediately went down. I recognized this little tree. I would have recognized it anywhere. And I thought, there you are. And I could swear, I could swear I heard it saying, mommy, mommy, take me home. So I went, <laughs> I'm, I'm not being serious. I'm teasing, but I went in to get it. And the cashier, she said to me, she said, I knew you'd be back for that tree. And I said, I know. I said, and it was calling out to me on my way through the parking lot. So I got it and I brought it home. And now, what I'd like your help with, I'm just making sure I haven't done terrible things to it, buried it too far. Okay. What I'd like your help with is, because of that little story, and because it had to wait at the store for a few days, for a couple, two, three days, for me to go back and get it, I need to name it. And if you can, down in the comments section, uh, put some neat little names. You know, if you have any ideas what I can name this tree, put your idea in the comments section and you can think on it and I'll think on it. And in a few days or so, we will, I'll check the comments and we'll see what we have and I'll pick a name for it. <laughs> I think that'd be neat. Okay guys, thanks again for joining me here at home. And I hope you have a wonderful day and that uh, we get to see one another again soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Where's the button? I don't know how to turn it. Oh, there it is. Ooh, there we go. I don't know if I can stand up. <laughs> uh oh, now I'm stuck to my chair with my clothes. <sighs> Yay, I stood up all by myself. Heck's that?
car. Water. 